So here we go. Um, when we last left off, uh, I started to very, very uh, um, uh, lightly introduce to you Adobe Illustrator. So I know this is a uh, brand new software, and uh, I know that I'm not here to help you out with it, but but I think you're going to be just fine with it. So here we go. So to start off, you kind of open up Illustrator, you do a file, you do a new, and it comes up with a little pop-up, and you hit OK. Okay. So here's your kind of canvas, your screen, if you want to think about it that way. Um, so down over on the right-hand side, I know we talked about some of this stuff already, but I just wanted to reiterate. Over on the right-hand side, we have our layers menu. That's the one that looks like the little double diamond. If you do not see that layers, uh, you're definitely going to want that. You can always click on Window, and Layers is right there. So just like in Photoshop, layers are extremely important. Over on the uh, over on your left-hand side there, you've got the toolbar, right? You've got your toolbar. And um, what we're going to want to do is basically only use the uh, the pen tool. Okay, that pen tool is going to be kind of our bread and butter for using uh, for using Illustrator. Um, we use the pen tool really for kind of everything. It's just a, a extremely important pro uh, tool for us to use. So let's go ahead and do just that. So we've got other tools as well. Obviously, we've got our black arrow tool that helps us move things around. Um, we've got this white arrow tool that helps us move vector nodes, which will make more sense in a second. Um, and then we've got the shape tool. We totally already talked about the shape tool, right? So the shape tool lets me, surprise, make shapes. I know I can always click on hold on it as well, and I can do a uh, circle, uh, any kind of shape really. I can do circles, stars, whatever you want. So I can go ahead and grab that. And if I want to change the color, say, of this shape, I just select it. And uh, just like so. And I click over here, and there's my white box. Double click, and that is going to be my fill color. And uh, with that fill color, I can change up any of that stuff right there. Let's say that this square, let's say I like the white on the inside, but I want to make the outline color, I don't know what, green. Okay? So I can go ahead, make it green. Now, you don't really see it, it's just kind of barely there. So I could always change what's called the stroke that's up at the top here. And I just click this number, da, 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 and I got a big old outline, right? So that's looking pretty good. Now I can do other things to this as well. I can always change the opacity right here, which we can talk about a little later on. Maybe I wanted this orange circle to be a little bit see-through. I can do that. Um, lots of different techniques that we can do, and we'll talk more about them as we go along. Um, I can use that black arrow tool to move things around. I can also use the arrow keys. Uh, I can just hold this down all day long and it'll move around. You can also hold down shift and then the arrow keys and it kind of jumps around a little bit more. It gives me something to kind of go off of. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is not these shapes. Gone. I don't need that. Instead, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking a little bit about our next, uh, next project. So... I know for uh, a lot of you guys here, I've already kind of begun to talk to you about the pen tool with making uh, animals. But I want to make sure, again, just to reiterate a little bit. So you're going to pull up a, uh, a picture of an animal, and then you're going to go ahead and draw right over top of it using your layers. So, um, yeah, I'll do just that. Let's see here. Hold on. All right. So how about this? Uh, there we go. So I've got uh, just Google searched up a whole bunch of little tiny adorable animals. I've got a range from uh, adorable bear, adorable puppy, um, but instead let's do adorable orangutan. I think that feels good. Um, this uh, orangutan is rocking a Fu Manchu and uh, he has a pretty good emotion on his face. It's pretty much how I feel all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'll just uh, save that. And whoop, open up Illustrator. I'll do file open. File open, go ahead over to my desktop, and somewhere in here is old Fu Manchu. There he is. That's his little Fu Manchu mustache. And I'm going to hit open. And there it is. Now notice, whenever I did file open, notice how I get these little tabs here at the top? That just means I had one open. It's just opening a new file. You could choose to work in this one. For me personally, I'm going to do Command X. That cuts it. I'm going to go ahead and paste it right there. And I can hit the X and knock that little tab out of here. And I do not want to save it. All right, so now I'm down to just one little window. It's going to make things go nice and easy here. So for our picture, don't worry about how big your picture is. I'm really not all that concerned about it. Um, we got a little bit of this like white paper hanging off of the side. Um, I'm really, like I said, this is our first major kind of Illustrator project. It's just not all that important. What is important, however, is this little double diamond for our layers right there. And again, if you don't have that layers, you just click on Window and Layers.
So I've got my layers, and I'm going to go ahead and lock it, and that way I can't adjust this guy at all, right? I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer by clicking on this little tiny page icon right there, and there we go, layer number two. Now I can click on the eyeball as well, and that eyeball turns off and on my layer. And for my animal, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen tool, and I can actually, if I want to, I can just like in Photoshop, I can grab this thing here in my toolbar. It's the eyedropper tool, so I can get the actual color that I want. So let's say like orange fur. That looks kind of pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Now to zoom in, I can grab my magnifying glass. I can click, drag, and whoop, zooms me in. I can also come right down here in the bottom left, and I can grab any number one of these here. Look, number, there's 100%, 200%. That's kind of kind of big there. It's too much. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to grab my pen tool, and I'm going to go ahead, and I want to start outlining him. But I want to outline literally everything, like a huge overall shape of him. Now, I'm going to go pretty rushed. Please take your time and do it a way better job than what I'm doing. But again, I assume you don't want to see me do the entire project, so uh, that would take way too long. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just start clicking, clacking along. Now remember, I could do this all the way around town and like I'm stitching, but this looks kind of like junk. So don't do that. Instead, instead, remember we talked a little bit in class, right? Instead, what I want you to do is find kind of a nice curve, right? Click, hold, and drag your line. Now notice that I get these little bars on either side, right? Those are kind of my handlebars that let me bend this guy around. But remember that it's pointing, pointing where it's going to go next. So for example, if I need it to go up over top of his head, but I have it pointing down, whenever I release and I go back up here, look at this, it, it tries to scoop down like a roller coaster. Well, I don't want it to do that. That is pretty horrible. So instead, instead, here we go, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag kind of point it in the direction I want to go. Okay, Click and drag. This is really probably the hardest thing about Illustrator is just getting used to these kind of little handlebars as we go along. Now let's say for example right here for this fur I want to do like a little up and down like a tidal wave right like a tidal wave of fur. So I'm going to go ahead and click and I curve it in but look it's going to shoot me way over here. That's not good either. So instead, instead watch this. Back it up a little bit. Okay. So instead, I'm going to do my little tidal wave, brr, bend it up. But now, if you look at your keyboard, I'm going to hit Alt Option, and I can brr, bend my line around. Now watch. Look at that. Look at that. It gives me a nice little point. I'm going to do it again here. Uh, let's do it again. Alt Option, brr, bend it around. I'm pointing it in the direction I want to go. Release, and let's go do another little flick of the wrist. Back in here, a flick of the wrist. Should be a musical sing-songing star. Look at this. I could do this all day. Just clicking, clacking, going all over the place. Okay, so just kind of box this off. Complete my shape. Okay, so there is my large orangutan silhouette. Cool. Layers menu. I'm going to lock that layer, make a new layer, and I'm going to turn off that layer. So again, it's still there. Boop, boop. Still there. But I've just turned off the eyeball. Makes things really easy. Okay, now, next up, exact same thing, this time, pen tool, I'm going to grab, uh, let's do eyedropper tool, I'm going to grab and do anything that is this dark orange color. So, drawing right over top, I might make a couple different shapes, so let's see here, I'm just going to go kind of quickly here, kind of use that alt option as much as possible, it's going to make it look really, really nice and professional. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it, no pun intended here, and just kind of going along anything that looks like it is in shadow. I'm going to go right over top of his weird little ape gullet thing. I don't, I don't really know what part of the body that is. Probably should figure that out, I guess. Go right over top, coming right around town. Look at that big one here. Okay, cut it with that alt option. Nice. Coming around. Ooh, there's some cool shapes over here. Okay, right up in there, back again. Coming around town. I'm kind of coming back. Now, you know what? It doesn't even need to be one whole huge Mungo kind of shape thing. Uh, in fact, let's see here. What if I did? So I'll just kind of bring this around here underneath this little beardy. Got to leave that beard in there. Okay. Something like that. That's pretty good. 
And you know, I, look, I missed a piece right there. God, what was I doing? I'm just gonna grab my pen tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and do another shape right over top. Who cares? No one's keeping score. No one cares what it looks like until it's done. We just want it to look good when it's done. Uh, let's see, any other dark shapes? There's a little bit down here, maybe. Go ahead and grab some of that. I'm gonna be, like I said, be a little bit rough with mine. You're gonna want to take more time with yours. Okay. Let's get a little bit underneath this little fur here. I'm gonna kind of do some zigzaggies to give them kind of a fur effect. It's kind of poking in there. Okay, so again, take your time. Do a better job than I'm doing. So at this point, I've got two layers, dark brown and light brown. And it starts to kind of line up a little bit, almost like a really messed up puzzle piece. So I'm gonna lock it again, and let's do it once more. So this time, I'm gonna do anything that is kind of his face color, this kind of gray. So I grab my eyedropper and grab that, kind of that grayish color. Get my pen and let's do everything that's his face color. So here we go. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing along again using that Alt Option and those long strokes. Alt Option, bend them on up, around his little mustachio. Kind of zigzag in here, how about that? Get it kind of kind of hairy looking. Old Harry and the Hendersons. That is a movie that probably no one in this class has ever seen. And I'm reminding myself how old I am. Harry and the Hendersons, kids. That's right. While you're drawing, I'm talking about Harry and the Hendersons. You should check it out. It's not really all that good. All right, so here we go. Coming around again. <laughs> Okay, coming around, here we go. And psh, there's the shape. All right, let's do it again, let's do it again. Um, I'm gonna do this weird neck flappy thing. Technically, it's a different color, but I think it's close enough that I can kind of call it skin color. So let's do it. Again, I'm gonna go kind of quick with mine. You guys don't need to see me do an entire orangutan, and you guys have another class beer to work on this, so I want you to basically use this video as reference if you're lost but otherwise just uh, go to it you know what's up um, I'm also not gonna bother painting in his little stick of grass he is hanging out of his mouth it's kinda weird okay do a little bit of that a little bit of this and good enough alright last things last lock it and I'm gonna make another layer real quick and along with that, I am going to go ahead, pen tool, eyedropper. We're going to do all these kind of cool, nitty-gritty little nooks and crannies real quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom, whoa, zoom on in so I can actually see what's going on. Let's see. Get just this little nose nugget right there. Deselect just by clicking on the black arrow tool. Get another little nose nugget. There you go. That's where he keeps all his, all his boogers. Got to get that in there. Okay. And uh, so then what we'll do. All right, so coming along, we've got kind of his nose built in there. We're going to grab the pen tool here, and I'm just going to kind of keep going. Now, again, like I said, I'm going to go pretty quick. You could actually really take your time, kind of zoom in here, you know, uh, kind of get up in there and, and uh, really make it into something that's extremely detailed. You don't have to, of course. You don't have to, but really can genuinely make a beautiful, beautiful piece of art, um, even just using these kind of simple shapes. The big thing with vectors that you want to kind of try to remember is it's not like painting, right? Uh, or maybe, for that matter, excuse me, it is like painting, it's not like drawing. Whenever you're drawing, you're adding kind of, you know, value and you're shading, you're blending things out, but whenever it comes to painting, or in this case vectors, really almost think about it the best way is like, uh, kind of like a paint by number. You know, little tiny shapes at a time, or even if you want to think about it this way, think about like um, if I give you a big box of construction paper, right, and a pair of scissors, and I said, okay, you need to now sit down and make this animal, right, make this orangutan or whatever we're working with, and but you only have construction paper, right, so you have to kind of cut out these little tiny shapes at a time, and those little shapes start to form something, almost like a collage, right. Now again, like I said, I'm going pretty quick with mine. Uh, I could definitely do a little bit more here, but just for the sake of argument, I'm going to go ahead and finish up, give him a little mouth. Can't have that emotion. How can I not have that mouth? Alt option to bring my mouth kind of around there so I can make it into a shape. That's the big thing. Think shapes, not line. 
So I'm going to go ahead whoa, and zoom on out there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now here's the neat part. Go back. Everything's all locked up. And turn on all your eyeballs. If I turn off that background layer, there's my orangutan. And I won't lie, it's maybe not amazing, but if I showed that to someone, they would know it's a orangutan, right? Now if you want, go ahead and leave on this background if you want. That's fine. If you leave on that background, you can actually turn that in just as it is with a realistic background. That's fine. If you don't want to, you could always just put in a big, you know, overall square in the background of just a plain color. That would be fine too. But again, you can see with my eyeballs, the smaller that shape, the more detail you can fit in there. And it can look, uh, can look pretty cool. So that kind of sums up where you're heading uh, or where you've already begun with your animal project. And uh, whenever you're done with this, come on back and we're going to start you up. I have another video for our next project, which is going to involve uh, using the pen tool in a different way to make something a little more professional. So see you then.